Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Garcia, Solution Engineer at Perforce Software. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of Helix Swarm, which is our code review and collaboration tool that is completely integrated into Helix Core. So, whether you're using Helix Swarm, the core server that you installed yourself, or you're using Helix Core Cloud, Swarm is ready to be a part of your workflow. With Swarm, conversations around code changes, sharing ideas, and fixing bugs are simpler. A common use case for customers is when they have a distributed team. They have teams that are in the U.S. and teams that are in Australia and or in the U.K., for example. Swarm helps streamline the peer review process for faster, better code reviews and ultimately better releases. Now, let me walk you through the interface and some of the core functionality available with Helix Swarm. When you're Company admin gives you the URL that you're going to use to log into Helix Swarm. You're going to use the same credentials and password you use to log into Helix Core through P4V or the command line. So here I'm logging in with my username, Jay Garcia. Credentials, it's going to log me in. As you can see, when it logs you into Swarm, you're going to come into what we call a dashboard. In this dashboard, what you're seeing is the updates of what you're participating in. So if you're participating in a particular review, whether you're a required reviewer or a, just a reviewer, it's going to note it in this role here. Now, if I was to have many more reviews, you'd have a whole list here and you can filter out only the ones that I'm a required reviewer for. If I didn't want that, I can definitely clear it. And also, I have the ability to select all my projects that I'm a current reviewer of or just a particular project that I want to take a look at and see which are the reviews that are pending for me. If I know that one of the developers that I've been working with is requesting me to do a review, I can definitely filter in by that particular developer. Again, this one's going to give me information about the review, when the review was requested, what's the status of the review, if there are any integrated tests with that review and the complexity of the review, and if there's any votes that have happened since I've logged in. Now, one of the things that you can take a quick look in Swarm is not only just the dashboard, but you can take a look at the activity. So you can look at activity that is happening for reviews, activity that is happening for all the commits that are going into the Helix Core server. Swarm is able to show you those. Comments being put into those reviews is another thing that you'll be able to show. When I want to take a look at more than just my reviews, all I need to do is just take a look at the reviews tab here and that is going to show me all the reviews that are pending on the projects that I'm allowed to see. But since with my credentials I'm actually a, a super user I can see all the reviews that are happening in Swarm. So here again I see all the reviews that are pending and waiting for reviews to happen. In here you can see when it was created the state of the review, if there still needs to be reviewed, uh, if there's already any approval that's happened in the review, any tests that have been performed, and again, the complexity of what's happening with this review. It'll give me a basic of, you know, how hard is this review going to take? Should I hurry up with the smaller reviews that aren't going to take me too long? Is it at the end of the, my day? And so I just want to do a couple of those reviews. If this is going to take a, an enormous amount of time because there's more changes that are happening, then maybe I want to push that into a, a, a time frame where I have additional time cycles so that I can do a better review. I can always filter on the reviews. So I can filter on my projects if I want to see only my projects, which are my reviews. All the projects that I'm a member of, I'll be able to list them here. If I wanted to see reviews, if I wanted to see if I'm an author of the reviews, if I'm participating in a review, there's additional filters that you can use here to filter those reviews down. And again, the status of the review, it tells me if this is in need of a review, if it's um, need of a revision, if it's been approved, the tests that have been performed, do I have this configured with, for example, Jenkins, Team City, Bamboo, or one of those other build pipelines. The comments, it tells me if there's comments on a particular review that are addressed to me. It tells me the vote up and I, again, I can clear all and that way I will see all the reviews that are pending in the Swarm review panel. 
I can take a look again at my projects. So if I drop into the projects panel here, I'm seeing the project that I'm a member of. So this is where I'm a member of the HR documents. If I'm a member of, I'm a member of Jam Graph, I'm a member of the JP Pet Store. If I wanted to take a look at all the projects, I can do so as well. So one of the nice things about Swarm is you can have a number of repositories in Helix Core, but all of them may not need to have reviews on them. So this is where I get to pick which projects in Helix Core do I want to have reviews? Do I want to have a project in here so that I can do reviews for those? In here I shows the files. So this is another nice thing about Swarm is I can basically take a look at the files. I don't have to go through P4V to take a look at the files. I can definitely go through here and say, let's take a look at the files that are in miscellaneous artwork, for example, and then take a look at this particular file and it's going to display it. So it's going to either show me the code, if this is a code file, or if it's an image, it's a simple image like this PSD file, Swarm is able to display it for me so I can take a look at that. So it's really convenient for me to be able to take a look at files within Swarm without having to go to the command line or within P4V. One of the other nice things about Swarm is taking a look at all the commits that are happening. So there's a bar inside of P4V that you can see all the submitted changes that have been happening in Helix Core and Swarm will also give you all those changes that have been submitted to Helix Core in this commits. Two more things that I want to show you is the workflows. As we go into workflows, this is basically allowing me to see if there's any particular workflows that are associated with any of the reviews. In here, I get to define this is a global workflow. So this is going to be for all the projects that are in Swarm. That's why it's global. But if I wanted to go ahead and create my own workflow and I wanted to put it in with one of the projects that I'm currently working with, I can add a workflow here. And we'll get more into workflows in another um, video. But for now, this is just showing you where you can add workflows. And then, of course, tests. If I wanted to integrate this into Jenkins, Team City, or with Bamboo, or with Go, or one of the other pipelines to go ahead and do a continuous build, continuous release process, I can definitely go ahead and define a test definition in here. So this is where I can also set the URL for that test and also the body fields. This is where I would go ahead and connect it up with Jenkins or Team City or Bamboo Go, whatever pipeline I'm using to do continuous integration with. So we're going to close out of here and we'll go up into my dashboard again. And that concludes our introduction to Helix Swarm. Swarm isn't just an add-on. It's a powerful code review tool for studios and teams across industries. If you want to give Swarm a try yourself, it's free and it's easy to get started. For Helix Core users, just visit perforce.com and go to the downloads page. Or if you're a Helix Core cloud user with at least three seats, you can activate Swarm in your customer portal. Thanks for joining me on this walkthrough and happy code reviewing in Helix Swarm.